Guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Where's Andres, bro? Come on, don't just bad start. Let me get this clip. Real, real close up and personal with all of you and Matt. Today, we have not a max out. Well, I guess, whatever. Point is, we are going for a 405 pound deadlift for as many reps as possible. And let me, let me tell you guys something. Last 24 hours have been very emotional for me. <laughs> Actually, I noticed about half a week ago that my deadlift technique is not exactly where I want it to be and it's sure as hell not what many call a crispy form. It's very, it's lacking in many parts. Keep in mind, I did switch over from, conven my conventional is as crispy as they come. Crispy as they come. But I switched over to sumo just a few weeks before quarantine. So as soon as we jumped back into the gym, I was, I was still very much adjusting to sumo. And, you know, as, as the weeks have gone by, I've just been learning and I've been analyzing my form and I've come to realize that it's very bad. Finally, son, geez. Yeah. I'm not jacking you right now, bro. No, Crayo. Tell me what week it is, bro. Tell me what day it is. It's max out week, baby. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. Andres is going to go for, I believe, we, let's not even discuss the number. Just know that he's going to pull as much as he possibly can. And back to where I was saying, the form on the sumo is not as best as it can be. I'm going to try to throw some clips in for my deload week. All those thoughts and ideas were just filling my head in the last 24 hours. And I think the number one thing that had me messed up was my knee pain. I have a little bit of knee pain that's been coming on for like the last three weeks or so. So you can imagine, I'm already nervous as it is. And then I got all these other distractions and, and, and things like, what if what if I can't, like, should I fix my form? Like, I kind of know how to fix it now. Should I fix it today? Should I wait until I fix it next week? All these crazy things going on in my head, but, but, but none of that. It is, we are in the car and we are on our way to the gym. So there is literally, this is not the time to doubt myself. Thank goodness. <laughs> if Delbert, if you're watching this, bro, Thank you. I appreciate you. Shout out to you, bro, for helping me. Um, I basically, I, I, I wasn't aware that you had to like roll out all three parts of your quads, like side, the, the inside, outside, and the front side, I guess. Turns out the outside of my quad was extremely tight. I rolled it out for like 10 minutes before coming in the car and I feel a lot better. Yo, anything you have to say before, Matt's also going to be maxing out. He's going to be starting a program soon. So he wants to see where he, where he's going to start off for his numbers. I have no idea where I'm at, but I just maxed out on bench yesterday. That was I put that clip somewhere here at 245 for a single. 245 for a single. Um, but yeah, let's get it. <sighs> Butterflies in my stomach, ladies and gentlemen. Butterflies in my stomach. But I was made for this shit. <laughs> yeah, I'll catch you guys inside the clip. Oh nah, I'll catch you guys inside the gym. First little reaction. Yes, I'm gonna admit I did try to go for five. That was the least, the minimum I was willing to take, but three is still two more than my all time red max. Hold on, bro. Chill. Oh shit, my son out. Wait. Come on, Andres.
Yo, the man on just said 315 is not enough for me. He said 315 not enough. He said put 335. We gotta see this shit. Yes, sir. <laughs> Shit me? Are you fucking shitting me? Stop it. Just stop it. Alright guys, so that concludes today's workout and I guess you guys can say the um, max out for the deadlifts and um, as much as I tell myself that 4 or 5 times 3 is valid and I should be content, there's just no hiding how I truly feel and the true feeling inside is that I'm disappointed I didn't hit the 5. I felt that I had the five, but I could not pull up the fourth and fifth rep. So as much as I tell myself that, oh, I should be happy because I hit the four or five times three, keep it in mind, I've only hit four or five for a single ever, ever. That's the most I've ever hit for a single. And I should be happy. I'm just not content. And um, right now what we're going to do is we're just going to keep working, fix the form, and then I'm sure as hell going for a one rep max. In December, and it's currently September something, end of September, October-ish. Matt, how'd you feel going into that deadlift session the last month for uh, 360? Pretty valid, honestly. Um, I had in mind, or the goal was for 365 today, but I felt like everything was moving pretty good, so I was confident enough to hit that 375. So, yeah. Yo, Andres, what do you got to say, bro? There was nothing in the world that was going to stop me from hitting three plates, at least. Damn, he hit three plates, deadlifts. and then he said, let me get the 335 going. Yep, and then, yeah, hit 335. Bro, tell him, just, just leave him off with this. What was your one rep max six months ago? On deadlift, my one rep max was... Not even six months ago, like three, four months ago. It was like... The most I did was like 260 or 245 for, 245 one, for, single. for one rep. For one rep, yeah. Three months later, 335. You come on, man.